Hey guys, Presbyth here. Welcome to a video about how to set up your own ARC Survival Evolved server. We'll show you exactly what you need to do in about 9 seconds. First thing you're going to want to do is go to a search engine. So I go to Google, type in Nitrado. Nitrado is uh, one of the number one servers host for ARC. Type in Nitrado servers ARC. Go to rent a ARC survival server. And we are going to go to, we are at the PC version. This is the Steam version. Uh, you can pick between 10 slots, 16, 32 slots, or custom. So once you pick that offer, it's going to take you to where are you wanting your server hosted. Uh, you can pick just the closest spot or you can run the latency measurement and it will tell you which spot is going to be the best one. Then you will have to register your account, charge it, confirm it, install it. So that's for PC. PlayStation is uh, basically the same exact offers. And you'll do the same exact thing. Go pick your spot, configure it, sign up, charge your account, confirm, install. P PC and PlayStation, the same thing. Xbox, however, you are going to have to get the Xbox or the Window Nitrado app. Um, and you just click on this, it'll download. You'll come up with the Nitrado app and you can pick your what what game you want hosted. They have uh, several games here that they can host: Atlas, Minecraft Vanilla, Seven Days to Die, Ark Survival Evolved. And so, Farming Simulator, and it will show you. Okay, so there's an Xbox version, and then there's also the PC version. You're going to want to make sure that you don't make the mistake that you want the Xbox version. You can run your latency here or just pick which one is the closest to you. You can pick on this one. It's a little bit different. It's 10 slots, 30 days. It's the same thing cost wise, but then also they have all these other options instead of the custom option. And so you can go all the way up to 365 days. If you keep going this way, um, you can have a whole year's worth but you can change this at any time you can add more days you can add more slots uh, as you go so on this you will just come down here and, oh, so I want to scroll but anyway okay there we go purchase it will take you to the Windows uh, store cart to actually make the purchase for how much it is once you get that on Xbox, it will come up here. You can go to your open web interface. And on this, this is also where you would extend your runtime or upgrade your server. Get more slots. Okay, this is your web interface, and this is where you start your server, uh, stop your server, restart your server. Uh, change your general settings, work on your expert settings, configure profiles, work on whether you want it to be a cluster or not. We'll show you a lot of these settings and what you can do in the next videos. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching. Please subscribe, please like, and we'll see you on the next one.